Hello everyone and welcome to Twin Flame Tarot. So today we're going to focus on the High Priestess, talk about the card, the energies, how the card makes you feel, what you see and feel and experience intuitively when you are looking at and receiving the information about this card and connecting you with the oneself. So let's look at the card together. So let's look at the energy of the High Priestess. Power, intuition, psychic wisdom, knowledge. That's what you see when you look at the card. What is this card saying to you right now? We've got the number two or one one, which can also signify 11. So this is also about the universal power speaking through you. So whoever you are connecting with when you were looking at this card, whether this is for yourself, your twin, or someone else you were reading for, you know that there's something pretty powerful that's going on. There's a spiritual awakening occurring. There's great things ahead. There's magic happening, psychic awareness, spiritual power and strength. And the 11 is about the universe speaking to you. So this is showing in the high priestess energy that you are connecting with source, that you are tapped in with your guides and your angels that you are listening maybe finally to what you've been guided to listen to and you are connecting with your higher self. The number two is also about working very closely in partnership with the law of attraction. And I always feel this when I connect with this card. It's a very feminine energy. So even though the high priestess can, you know, relate to the energy of a man or a woman who you were reading for, it's also a very feminine energy. You feel that when you look at the card and feminine energy is very feeling. So when we see this card, we know that it's important to trust our feelings, to listen to our intuition, to listen to our higher self and our inner knowingness of what's going on, to listen to the messages and the downloads to observe what we are seeing and feeling and experiencing and to trust in the guidance from above. So when we pull this card, there may be a real spiritual awakening going on. We're learning to have patience and faith to bring in balance because balance always leads to justice. And when I see this card, I always see the B on the kind of darker pillar here as balance. Because we have to balance the energy of the light and the dark, the good and the bad, the highs and the lows. We all experience those things. You know, we come to the earth plane to learn and grow. So we must experience the valleys of life, the dark times, to experience the highs of life, the light times, the good times. Because without the bad times, we wouldn't really appreciate, understand or enjoy the good times. And the J can be connected with justice. And justice is connected with everything happening in God's plan. Everything happening the way it's meant to for soul growth and learning. That everything comes full circle in the end and karma will be restored. So if you're worrying about someone who's hurt you or something that's affected you in some way and you're wondering if they will receive their justice or their karma, leave it to God. Because God is in charge and God knows all things. And when, within your journey, what's meant for you will be for you. So it's also understanding that too. And whenever I connect with this energy, I always connect with the energy of Archangel Honiel. The angel of peace, the angel of calm, the angel of grace. Because she also is very connected with the moon. And the moon is also connected with the high priestess because the moon is about reflection and intuition and healing. There's something quite magical when we go out at night and look at the moon. You know, we feel that power. We feel strong, even if we're going through dark times. And Archangel Honiel connects you with your true self and the moon cycles and connects you with source. I also feel a strong pull in this energy to Mother Mary. And you can see that when you look at the robes that she's wearing. You know, in this particular card, she's wearing this beautiful kind of cape of blue and this beautiful light blue dress. And these are the colours of Mother Mary. 
You can also see the pearl on a hat, you know, on this headdress here, because it's like pearls of wisdom and intuition. And you can also see this like a new moon for new beginnings, fresh starts and understanding. And she's also holding something in her hand. And I'm seeing that as strength. You know, you read what you read into this card. And every card, when you are reading intuitively, the card will speak to you. The card will show you the truth. You know, when I look at this card, I see a card of beauty and understanding and knowledge. I feel Jesus around this card, helping us to have patience and power and to see beyond the physical world, to see beyond the pain, to see beyond the fear and to see past all illusion so that we learn to trust our intu intuition, our feelings, especially when there's a block. Because if the card comes in blocked, you know, if you feel the energy is blocked around this card, if it's aspected with, you know, other cards that suggest delays or... It may come up reversed and you're reading reverse cards. It's a sign to close your eyes and connect maybe through meditation to take some time to feel. Maybe you're not trusting your intuition or the messages you are receiving from your guides or your angels or you're not open to that right now. So we're learning to trust in our feelings because what we feel is always real. We're learning to trust in with our inner feminine. And we all have that within us, whether you see yourself as a twin flame or you don't, or whoever you were reading for sees themselves as a twin flame or they don't. We all have a feminine side. And on this journey as a twin flame, we align the energy. So when we come into union and on the journey to union, we align the energy. That's why we experience sometimes both feminine and masculine energies. Because when we move into union, we've aligned the energies, we experience both. And Mother Mary will wrap her loving arms around you during this time, helping you to see. So when we get the High Priestess, we might also go within. Especially if we get other cards aspected with it, like the Hermit card or the Four of Swords energy, where we need to reflect and feel and heal and to understand and process what we're feeling right now, what we're understanding from a spiritual point of view so if the masculine gets this card and they're being very distant right now or silent then breathe a sigh of relief because they're going through a huge spiritual awakening they're starting to see they're starting to understand they're letting things flow and this is real water energy in this card too you know can be connected with cancer energy and i'm a cancer energy so you know, I understand this very powerfully that we can be very emotional. So this is also a card of emotion. And when we learn to trust in our emotions and we learn to harness those emotions, just like the magician in the previous card, we take control of our emotions. So we may also be going through emotions when we get this card. It can be very emotional when we connect with angels. It can be very emotional when we connect with our higher self. It can be very emotional when we realize things spiritually for the first time. It can bring in tears. It can bring in gratitude. It can bring in elation. It can also bring in sadness for what's gone. But we learn to heal that because we're changing and evolving. So the high priestess is also a knowingness that things need to change. You know, maybe you've been doing the same job for a long period of time or you've been in a long relationship that hasn't been serving you or you know it's time for a new beginning and a fresh start in a new location or doing something new or you know it's time to quit something that isn't serving you or, you know, to move on to pastures new. And it can be a bit painful sometimes to leave those things behind because as a human being, even though we're spiritual, our human self doesn't really like change or moving out of comfort zone. And that's all connected with the ego. So we have to learn to let go and to bless the past and everyone who's been around us in our life and all the experiences we have had because they have made us who we are. So we're learning to be free, to be strong, to trust in our gut instinct and what we automatically know. So the high priestess, yes, it can be very connected with the crown chakra, where we receive downloads from heaven, 
into our head area and our brain and our mind. But it can also go into our third eye, our psychic center, where the pearls of knowledge are. And we learn to see past the physical 3D world, what some people call the matrix, the reality or the wall that's being pulled over our spiritual eyes. This card is also connected with the solar plexus and what we feel in our gut because our gut instinct is our inner guidance system. We know if we feel good about something because we feel good in our stomach. We may get butterflies, we get excited. We know if something feels off to us or bad, if it gives us bad vibes because we get that sense of dread in the pit of our stomach, a feeling of falling. We may get digestive issues during this time because we're learning to trust. We're also following our heart. So you may get heart palpitations. You could get pain in the back because you're learning to overcome fears of moving forward or changing things, endings to bring in powerful new starts. So there's so many things you can feel and see in this card. They're also showing me the beautiful tapestry behind her there as sunflowers or flowers or power. You know, they're showing the meal so as trumpets, which is about illumination, God's plan, connecting with your mission and your higher self and things blooming and growing. So whatever you're seeing in this card, it's speaking to you. They're also showing me these kind of symbols here as historic wisdom. Archangel Metatron coming to you and aligning all of your chakras, giving you all the information and all the guidance that you need. And those pillars too are also about strength and support. Angels all around you. And you're learning to overcome the fear and the doubt and the illusion and replace it with faith and love. So this is a very important card in the deck because it shows spiritual growth spiritual transformation, overcoming fears and your powerful intuition and your psychic self, harnessing everything to move forward. And they give me a little bit of fear because sometimes we can be afraid of that. We can be afraid of the unknown. We can be afraid of the other realms or, you know, the spirit kind of realms as well. You know, if you are, for example, wanting to become a medium, and connect with spirit it can be very scary because you're not sure what you'll see because of all the craziness that's being put on the big screen with horror films and you know false projections of what the other realms are so we overcome fear we call on the angels so when you're connecting with your psychic self you may call on archangel michael to protect you from lower energies or vibrations to protect you from harm or psychic attack you may call on Archangel Raziel to help you to harness your spiritual strengths, to access your gifts and your wisdom and all the things within you. So take this card, how it resonates with your current situation when you were reading this card, because it's so beautiful. You know, it's so powerful. It's asking you to trust, to trust what you're feeling, to trust your intuition to trust your gut instinct and that inner knowingness and that feminine energy inside of you. And if there's any block to that, call on the angels and they will remove obstacles out of the way. They will lift up the veil and help you to see and they will protect you and bless you and keep you strong. Beautiful energy. An absolutely beautiful card, the High Priestess. I hope you enjoyed that. I really love talking about the card and, you know, the feelings you get when you're connecting with the cards, the power, the strength, the integrity and your divine feminine power too. So beautiful. So let's bring in the other cards. So we've got intuition. So, you know, if you could just have one word for this card, it would be intuition. You know, that inner knowingness within you when you connect with your true self, you connect with who you truly are when you are connected with source, when you're connected with your angels and your guides and that feeling inside that you get. So we've also got trust your intuition and own that power. So own that power. You know, when you have a feeling about something, trust that. You're giving me a blocked throat chakra or a feeling like you want to say something. So Follow your heart, speak your truth. 
know who you are you know own that power so if you know that this person is your twin flame you feel it you know it trust it regardless of what situation is going on in the physical reality regardless of what they say because hurt people hurt people so sometimes the masculines can hurt you with their words because they are hurting they can say things they regret or they don't mean they can say things from their ego that causes chaos you know they can deny their feelings because they don't understand them themselves so learn to trust in what you feel because that's what's real and that's the message of the high priestess to listen to your gut instinct on this regardless of what people say even other readers you know if you have a reading from someone it's not resonating with you it doesn't feel right there's a reason why trust in that feeling trust yourself because that's your power so as the feminine we realize where our true power comes from and that's what this card says i am realizing where my true power comes from where does your true power come from divine feminine it comes from within and it comes from above so it comes from your connection with source and your connection with yourself that's where your true power comes from the true blessings from heaven god is your source so trust in that you know whenever we go through any fear the way we overcome fear is realizing that we are so much more than this physical world you know we are in the world but not of the world that means god is our source we'll be taken care of regardless of what goes on with the pandemic or within the the physical reality they're giving me fear or any fears about material things or not having enough god is your source the universe is your power and will take care of you so you're realizing with this card as a divine feminine that your true power comes from within and your true power is connecting with heaven your intuition and your guides and from the masculine perspective i am tapping into my intuition so he's tapping into that right now and this is allowing me to see my truth and the high priestess can also be about the truth secrets being revealed things coming to light that's why sometimes when the masculines are silent and they go within they tap into that that truth that power of who they are and how they feel and what they know because it's always been inside of them they just have to access that so again this is helping you to understand why sometimes they need distance or silence or quiet times it doesn't mean there's anything wrong in fact it means everything's going right we're learning as, as a divine feminine during these silent moments to have faith to trust in what we feel and to own our power and to surrender and let go and give them what they truly need which is the time space and room to come forward in their own way to be able to find their way to you and you have to learn to trust them to find their way and your intuition gives you signs allows you to become the observer so when we get this card we're seeing things from a higher point of view that means we're paying attention to signs and synchronicities that help to give us faith and power and knowledge and understanding of what's going on so the masculine is saying to you if they receive this card that they are tapping into their intuition maybe finally maybe that's what you've been waiting for but they are tapping into their psychic powers and it's allowing them to see and feel and understand their truth so an absolutely beautiful card to remember your power know your worth and connect with source and call on the angels call on mother mary call on archangel honiel call on whoever you are connecting with when you pull this card to look past illusion see the truth reveal all the secrets to you and that will help you along your way i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon